So Gmail has a mail merge facility. It's not a free one. Uh, you do have to have one of the accounts, but a lot of people have got it. And your admins do need to give you permission to use it and permission to email external people. In some ways, this is better than the free ones because it's built in and it can use all the advantages that Gmail and Google and their secret source. But the disadvantage is... If you get the email column wrong, you have any mistakes in your email, it just will simply completely refuse to send it. So how do we deal with that? Let me show you two ways to do it. And a sub to the channel would be absolutely amazing. So let's get started. Here we have a list of emails to be sent and you know you can see I've copied and pasted it in. I've done my best. I've thought I've got a fairly clean list. Um, and you know looks decent check it out um only problem is there's a mistake and so i've got to look now the first way is really quite simple text is a valid email um and for a smaller list that's probably okay um you can see that little red dot in the corner and if that's okay for you fair enough um that will do the job but you know, if you've paid up for the premium email, you can send 2,000 emails a day and I don't think that's going to be quite enough. So for a little list, that was quick and easy. But what we actually need to do is something that can search a much bigger list and you can instantly hit Command or Control F and find those invalid emails. Now, to help us do that, I'm going to employ something called regex, uh, which is a little bit of programming, but I will give you the complete formula so you can just literally copy and paste it. In this case, the regex is going to be for C2, and the formula is going to say whether the cell is valid or invalid, making it very quick for you to find or filter where the improper cells are. So we're going to use an if statement and we're going to use regex. This is fairly standard regex for most programming languages. So you can literally use it to check any email address and it's quite famous. So what does it check? Well, it checks that there's a first half. It checks that only valid characters are used. Then it checks that there's an at symbol and finally, it checks the second half of the email address. A couple of things to note. Uh, common errors include spaces at one end or the other. And this makes sure that that doesn't happen. And actually, capital letters don't matter one way or the other. A couple of other hints. For mail merge, it's got to be the first tab. And make it easy on yourself. Use the first row as headings and only use letters for headings. If you haven't done this, there is a workaround, but it's more complicated than just using letters. Now I'm just uh, gonna check and see what we've done. I'm gonna add my final heading, which is check valid. And notice I didn't put a question mark there because I don't wanna mess things up. Copied and pasted it. Oh, did you spot the invalid one? Very easy to spot in this one. But in a bigger list, you might want to filter or use Command F. Now, the whole point of using a mail merge is to be able to send personalized information to each other, not just do a BCC. So what I've done is I've just added a score, which is just random, and I've added a random uh, thing. And here's just, you know, A to G, which is the UK GCSEs. Um, Harry Potter, I'm afraid, not doing too well there, but... That's life. So now I've got my email up. I want to do it. See the top right corner, mail merge, and I want to add it from a spreadsheet. Here is my email, pretend email. And yes, we are using example.com, which is the designated example thing to literally test these kind of things. And so email, first name, last name. These are fairly standard things, nice and easy to do. And you can see that it's going to do the recipients. Now, with a little bit of typing, I'm just going to uh, send it to their first name, which is nice. And uh, you can see that. And also in the email, I can say your recent exam performance uh, and apparently you scored. Well, we'll just check their test score. That's in there for them. And we'll also tell them their grade. And so with this, we're able to send a beautiful email and I'll show you the final result 
as if Harry Potter, who undoubtedly will be a bit disappointed with this, so I'd uh, probably want to send this after I'd had a discussion with him. Here is the final email, just to show you what it might look like. And as you can see, doing a mail merge like this is very good for sharing sensitive information with just the people you need to, personalizing it and making sure it genuinely is about what they need to do. In the description, I'll include the formula required. I'll also put a link to that spreadsheet so you can have a play with it and see how it works for you. I've also included a couple of other very useful videos. Let us know in the comments what you think and I'll see you the next time.